I've never met a cakey brownie person. I know people talk about it. Um, if you are a cakey brownie person, please leave it in the comments because I really want to know. Hi, I'm Melissa Clark. I'm a food reporter for the New York Times and I'm gonna make one of my favorite, it has everything desserts. It is brownie shortbreads because sometimes you can't decide if you want a brownie or if you want shortbread and this way you can have them both. I've been making brownie shortbreads for a really long time. It's not just that you're getting both brownies and shortbreads, it's that the interplay between the two of them is so really interesting, different, and so good. And so together, it actually is better than just eating shortbreads and better than eating just brownies. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup, right? It's like it's better than peanut butter, it's better than milk chocolate. It's just better. First thing I'm gonna do is make the shortbread and I'm gonna put it into this nine by 13 inch pan that I've lined with parchment paper and it's greased really well also. You don't have to use the parchment paper, but I find that if you leave some overhang, then when you wanna unmold your brownies to cut them, you just pull it right up and it makes it so much easier. Mix the flour, the sugar and the salt before I add my butter. And I have three sticks of butter here. It's a lot of butter, but what is shortbread except a lot of butter in solid, sweet form, right? And it's gonna take a couple of minutes to just break down the butter and get it incorporated into the flour. It basically looks like crumbly dough. You can kind of see if you pinch it, it will stay together, but it's not one solid mass. And at this point, I'm gonna just press it into the nine by 13 inch pan. All right, so this is my cheat. Are you looking at my cheat? If it's too thick, you just take your offset spatula and you just move the dough around where you want it. Okay, so here we go. Does that look good in the camera? Because oh, yeah. it looks good outside the camera. Now you just wanna prick it all over with a fork. Scoring the shortbread encourages it to bake more evenly. And now I'm gonna bake it at 350 until the top is golden brown, about half an hour or so. While the shortbread bakes, I'm gonna make the brownie topping and I'm gonna start out by melting the butter with the chocolate. I just have a little bit of water in the bottom of a pot and then a metal bowl. I'm gonna heat up the water and then the steam is what is gonna melt the butter and chocolate together. If you're gonna use your microwave, you wanna do it in 20 to 30 second bursts and then stir in between. Okay, we are good. This is smooth, so I'm just gonna take it off the heat. It's still pretty hot. And this is why it's important to add the sugar and the cocoa before you add the eggs. Because when I put this in, this is immediately going to cool down this hot mixture. I love brown sugar and brownies because brown sugar still has some of the molasses and it just accentuates that bitter chocolate flavor, like it makes it extra bittersweet. And now I've got my three eggs. And this is a stage where it goes from looking like a grainy mess, you know, with all the sugar, to looking smooth and emulsified and really beautiful. <laughs> Actually, I kind of miss the kind of Miss Dahlia because you know, like she would appear if I was doing this at home. She would just like appear out of nowhere, like cute brownie batter. She would just be like right there. And now I'm going to mix my flour and just a little bit of salt. Nuts are optional. I love pecans in brownies, so I am adding them. And I like to keep them in really big pieces. I don't finely chop them. I just kind of roughly chop them. And that's it. I'm gonna pour this right on my shortbread base as soon as it comes out of the oven. Yeah, it's beautiful. Golden brown, mostly light with a few dark spots. That's fine. Um, and then we know that it's gonna be baked all the way through and crunchy, which is really what you want pour the brownie topping right on top of the still warm shortbread base. It's fine if it's still warm or even very hot. And now just a little bit of flaky sea salt on top. And the flaky sea salt is going to make the chocolate flavor really pop. It's so good. So I've raised the oven temperature to 375 and I'm going to pop it back in the oven just to set the brownie mix. So these have been cooling for a couple of hours and um, still a little warm, but mostly cool. It's just so pretty. Can you see the stripiness? Look how beautiful that is. Boy, do I wish I had a ruler. 
with our ruler. Really? All right. If, if you don't, if as long as they don't have to be perfect, I yeah, can get you. I can get you non-perfect. I'm yeah. very good at non-perfect. It's perfect. I have trouble with. Oh yeah, <laughs> it looks so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's just so good. It's fudgy. It's crunchy on the bottom. It's very buttery. It is the best of both worlds. It actually might be the best of all worlds because <laughs> it's just so good.